Hello, my name is Patrick Conway. I'm the chairman of the Greenway Co-op. I'm talking to you from my house here in Coondrihara, which is, I suppose, half a mile away from the Greenway at Carrimore. Uh, the Greenway project, I suppose, it's in a good place. Um, TII are working on an application which will lead, hopefully, to the creation of the Greenway. Naturally, this is slow, slower than we'd like, but it's going to be done in a very concise and, and solid way. So in the meantime, I suppose we'd like to start thinking about what the Greenway will look like, what little gems people will find when they're traveling the Greenway. Uh, a Greenway is more than a strip of, of concrete or, or a strip of tarmac. Uh, this greenway will be showing people the delights of, of the Slough Sligo area from Colooney to Balahi. So this video is, is really to um, introduce you all to that area. Yeah, I suppose uh, I have to be biased. Um, I went to school in Caramore School and uh, that sits about 300 yards away from the future greenway. If, if you're in Caramore School, behind you is the Hill of Nocknashi, and, and that'll be there to be discovered. There, there was a lovely walk up to it. Uh, the source of the Moy trickles along by the school, heading all the way to Ballina. And then in front of the school is the Ox Mountains. Uh, so it's a very beautiful place. And um, I just feel that it, it'll be one of the lovely places to discover for someone that's passing the Greenway. They can maybe come up for an hour or they might spend two days discovering the area. Yeah, I suppose potential is a word we use a lot in connection with the Greenway and uh, Caramore School is a perfect example. Uh, built in 1834, closed in 1973. I was one of the last pupils to complete their education there. And uh, I mean, the potential for Caramore School is, is whatever we want it to be. Maybe it'll be a toilet stop. Maybe it'll be a little coffee shop. Maybe it'll be a little interpretive centre for the whole Nocknashie region. Uh, it, it's all there to play for, but it certainly is a little gem that can be accessed from the Greenway uh, from two directions. And in fact, you could leave the Greenway at Caramore Station, come to the school and resume your travels uh, 200 yards down the road. Um, loads of potential, beautiful place, and I feel that the Greenway is going to bring it into its own. Yeah, I suppose it, it's one of the things that I focus on. Um, there's a beautiful bridge that, that passes, I suppose, Cashel North. It, it passes over the railway line, a beautiful stone bridge. And I continually see a set of steps or some kind of an exit where you can leave the Greenway there. Uh, you're about 250 yards from Caramore School. And I just think it to be something beautiful. The view when you stand on the bridge is lovely. The view when you're below on the line looking up at the bridge is lovely. When you look through that bridge, you can actually actually see another bridge further up on, on the Greenway. And uh, that's one of my dreams, that something will happen at that bridge um, with the help of, of the council in the future. <laughs> My name is Damien McGuinn. I'm currently Secretary of Kulani Development Company. We're located here in Kulani Community Park adjacent to the Sligo Greenway. My position on the Greenway is a board member of the Greenway Co-op and I'm very enthusiastic about the future development of the Greenway for recreational, social and economic benefits to the community. The Kulani Development Company have had a strategy for many years to make Kulani the cycling and activity hub of Sligo. Um, to further that vision, we um, created or we helped develop the National Mountain Bike Centre here in Kulani, located just directly behind us, 500 metres behind us uh, on the mountain. Uh, we also have a pump track facility here, a bicycle BMX pump track facility. Um, we are also located on the Eurovelo 1 route for uh, road cyclists and have hosted national road championships in the village um, historically. So we have a lot of very good cycling routes adjacent to the village. 
One of the major benefits of, of the proposed Greenway route along the railway corridor is that it sits adjacent to Kalani Development Company community property. So we're currently standing in the community park which has football field, cafe, astroturf, playground facilities already built there. On the other side of the railway track directly in front of me there's a, a one and three quarter acre site um, which we would also propose to be a future trailhead for the, the, the Greenway. Um, this is land that's currently in community ownership, which has been agreed within the community to be um, used for that purpose. A former railway gatekeeper's cottage is situation, uh, situated at the northern end of the village and on the southern end it has Liney Station. Both of these buildings are unfortunately um, going into a state of dilapidation, but should they be uh, refurbished as part of the Greenway project, they provide a great opportunity to protect and preserve the architectural and historical memories of the old railway line. There's a lot of features of the railway line that we would like to see keep intact. A lot of the signage, a lot of the stonework, a lot of the memories and what the railway meant to the communities when it, when it was first um, built and during its operation. These all can be preserved in these buildings as a museum type structure. Um, they can also be used as opportunities for uh, tourism and information related development. Joanne Hosey is my name. I am a voluntary board member of Tobacurry Development Company, also known as TDC. And TDC looks after the Oncree Digital Hub here in Tobacurry. Um, Oncree Digital Hub is a state-of-the-art facility recently refurbished here on the Ballina Road. Oncree Digital Hub is a state-of-the-art facility here in Tobacurry, recently refurbished to a very high standard. We have a fantastic boardroom allowing um, Zoom and team meetings for board meetings, for committee meetings, etc. We also have a fantastic large event space upstairs for holding large meetings, AGM functions, etc. And then we've got a fantastic um, video creation podcast studio um, where businesses can promote their businesses, um, but also where community groups can come together to tell their stories. Uh, we've got a very interesting um, podcast going as well within our group called South Sligo Talks, where we're promoting all the news around the locality. We have state-of-the-art remote working and office facilities on site as well with 500 meg broadband. So all in all, a really strong package here in Tubbacurry. Yeah, Tubbacurry Development Company has a key purpose, which is to enable the economic prosperity of the wider South Sligo region. And, and certainly from my perspective, I see the Greenway playing a key role in relation to that. The Greenway will bring tourism to the locality. The Greenway will bring jobs to the locality. And if we can get more jobs in the locality, I think that's a good thing. That will drive economic prosperity. Specifically, we see on Cree Digital Hub playing a key role in terms of the Greenway development. And we're certainly excited at the prospect of having Greenway users using our facilities here in Ancree, specifically our remote working facilities, which are state of the art. My name is Mick O'Hara, uh, I'm the proprietor of the Yates County Inn in Curry here. Um, behind us here, about uh, 50 yards away, is the, the proposed new Sligo Greenway. Uh, we currently employ here approximately 30 uh, full-time employees um, and there's also some part-time members that work with us at the weekends. We look at uh, the Waterford Greenway, you know, it's a, it's a prime example of what can be done. Uh, it, this is sitting right on our doorstep here. Um, we can see great potential you know, on, a, on, a, on a year round basis. You know, we can make the season far longer than what it is at the moment. 
uh, you know that will, in, will increase employment for not, not just the hotel here but it will create new employment in the area you've got such things like uh, bike hire rental shuttle bus services um, new tea shops new restaurants you know, the, you know the, the list is endless and what and you know from these things you know other opportunities will arise such as maybe you know tours to different you know to the ox mountains and things like that so, you know nature tours so the, the potential for you know the potential of for this area you know if we if we get the greenway up and running is just unbelievable well again one of the great advantages we have here that's probably not been tapped into in this vicinity is the fact that we're so local to knock airports we have you know we we have plane loads of people coming into the in, in into the airport which is approximately six miles away and yet they go they're off to westport they're off to they're, they're off to Galway, they're, you know, they're, they're, there's nobody actually stopping in this area. So I see a great potential, you know, it gives people a reason to stop in the area, spend a day or two here, spend some money. And, you know, if everybody does that, then, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll reap the rewards of it. My name is Dara McMeal. I've moved to the area about 13 years ago. My wife is O'Hara from this pub, Joanne O'Hara, where this, she's a third generation to live in this the building behind us. Um, we're just working on trying to get Balahi back into a bit of focus with the, the county council. We've reformed the Balahi Development Committee. Um, it was I suppose it had gone extinct for a, a few years with COVID and a, a few other reasons. Um, we're just trying to get it back up and running. So um, the main focus of our group is just to reinvigorate the Balahi village. Um, there's a number of young families that have moved back in the area to, since COVID. They've moved back from Dublin and from various parts of the world. They're bringing up young kids. Um, there, there's a lot of young families, it's kind of a vibrant area, but we don't have a lot of infrastructure or amenities really for children or, or for the older generations to walk around and just things for people to do in the area. We've been, we've all been to, to Westport in this part of the world, we've seen the, the magnificent facility, the greenway over there, or, or, or any greenway really that people m might have been on. and the, the positive interactions that people have and the positive interaction they would have for the for the area there's a, a, a lovely walk along the railway track at the minute it's just a, a well-worn path um, that we have all done over the, the past number of years and just the thought of that being cleaned up and into a proper facility to allow people to walk and go on walks or take their bikes and take their kids safely out of the way of the, the busy N17 which you might hear in the background. My name is Noel Johnston and I'm the chairman of the Knocknashi Community Hub at which we're standing outside here today. It's a project in South Sligo uh, developed by the, the local community. I'm also the treasurer of the Sligo Greenway Co-op. Um, the Knocknashi Hub is uh, situated here in South Sligo in Lava and it came about, um, uh, well originally it's, it's, it was the centre of our village here, it was a pub and uh, restaurant, nightclub and it was closed down for, for numerous reasons. But in COVID times, uh, it came on the market. There was a vulture fund owned it and it came on the market and the community decided that uh, we should really uh, pool our resources and buy it for the community. So that's really what happened. Uh, we had a very short uh, time window of about two weeks and we raised 100,000 euro. We went off to an online auction and we bought this place. And uh, there's a huge amount of people involved in it. Uh, we probably have over 100 volunteers and we run a community cafe here, a very successful one over the weekends. And we have a large function room at the back that caters for all sorts of parties, uh, kiddies parties up to fashion nights or you know meetings, all sorts of stuff going on. 
And the third section then is to um, develop a social club, really to book the trend in Western Ireland, to, to put back a social club here in our community so that people can meet and uh, entertain themselves at the weekends. And we're fortunate in that the Green May goes right through our, our community from when it leaves Kalani all the way up to our community and until it hits uh, Tubba Curry. So there's a huge stretch of potential Green May here uh, right on our doorstep. And there's some important uh, connections off the Greenway, which would be Muckleti Hill and also Knocklashie. Now, the Knocklashie Walk is very successful already. We are benefiting from that here uh, in the cafe, where we get a lot of people walking the hill, come down for coffees and stuff. And I would see that continuing, you know. Um, in the community, I would expect that people would probably have accommodation options and uh, people could maybe stop here. And uh, while they're here, they might visit our, our cafe or maybe some entertainment here at night time in the function room. So yeah, I would see a huge uh, connection between ourselves and the Greenway. Hi, my name is Patricia Connolly. I've been from Colony all my life, friends and family all around. Uh, I'm part of the Colooney Greenway Support Group, have been since it was established two years ago. Summertime down here was alive with children, anybody from the age of 10 and upwards. A lot of the guys and lassies learned to swim here. Um, it's just always been part of our scenery. We've played here, fished here. Colooney has a long history with the railway lines. We're very, very lucky in the way that we have got a three-line crisscross in this village connecting us to Enniskillen and to the Western Link. So the amenities that it could open up, the contacts that would be made between counties, the sky's the limit. We've got something very unique here. We have the possibility for two greenways connecting in our small village, which hopefully would make the village uh, a power point as such between the two greenways. The mill itself could be an absolute jewel in the crown for the greenway. I mean you could have endless possibilities of what it could be turned into. I know it's under private ownership but there's nothing stopping them from coming in and seeing if both Falcher would get on board and help them out and do something with it. It could have bike hire in it, there could be a restaurant, could be a railway museum. I mean, there's, a, there's a, so much potential here by the river. Like that's just one example of one thing that could be refurbished or established here in the village. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Uh, that's just a tiny slice of what a future greenway is going to look like through our eyes. But of course, a greenway experience is going to be different for everyone and that will be the magic of a greenway. Uh, one person's greenway could be a 20 minute walk in the evening, uh, another person's greenway could be a 35 kilometre cycle over a, a three hour period. Uh, that's the wonderful thing we have to look forward to. The greenway will belong to everyone. All I'd ask is in the meantime while we're waiting keep talking about the greenway, keep talking to your politicians, keep telling the public about the wonderful greenway that's on the way very soon. Thank you. I went down to the river's edge to try and find myself again. I was lost and far away. I hope to find myself someday. Way down by the river's edge. 